Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked to hear more about the part of my life where I'm a lawyer and not just a moto vlogger. I was kind of reluctant initially to talk too much about it. And the reason is, is that people don't like lawyers and they don't have a good reputation. And there's been a couple of people that said that I talked about it too much in the beginning. So I sort of avoided the topic, but so many people have asked me recently that I decided we do a little segment on sort of that part of my life and what a day in that part of my life is like. I do sometimes incorporate my two sides or my two jobs. I will ride to court sometimes. And I did one video on sort of the logistics that go into doing that, but I'll also be riding today. I actually don't have a court appearance today, so I need to file a few things at the courthouse, so I will still be going to the courthouse. This is my law office, um, but I've also sort of made it my motorcycle wall of the over here. Fix that for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because it is such a big part of my life, and because I am so passionate about it. So I've been practicing law um, are for around a decade. I do primarily civil litigation. What that means is if you have a problem, a dispute, and it goes to court, I would be the one to handle that. I don't do a lot of drafting anymore, although I do occasionally. So the type of civil litigation that I do the most of is estate litigation, meaning when folks die um, and there are disputes either between siblings or second spouses and children, um, I'm the one that handles those types of disputes. I also do contracts disputes, I do business disputes, um, so some employment work, so when people uh, have a contract gone wrong or a warranty that wasn't uh, followed, those types of things, I litigate that. So I take those types of disputes to court. I've had some of you reach out to me and ask me if I could help you on criminal matters. I'm not a criminal attorney, so I don't do criminal work. Mm -hmm. Unless Kim really needs That's to right. <laughs> I, know. I was um, gonna say, hold on now. No, I, I don't do criminal work. I've got a lot of friends that do. If y'all need that, then what I would do is try to find an attorney in your state. So that's another thing a lot of people don't understand about practicing law. Um, I have, uh, a Juris Doctorate degree, which is the degree that you need in order in, in most states. There's a is few that what's over there on the wall? Yeah, this one. Some of them. This is my undergrad degree. Yeah, I never knew, uh, look, just fun information, uh, lawyers were actual doctors of the law, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a doctorate level degree. I think if people call themselves a doctor of the law, they're kind of a tool bag. <laughs> and that's why lawyers get a bad name, by the way. Sleep. So in most states, you need a Juris Doctorate degree to practice law, not all of them. So probably some of you are going to say that you heard that Kim Kardashian is going to go be a lawyer. And in California, <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. You can. There's a different way. And there's maybe two other states, I think, Virginia I can't remember, is one. that you can be a lawyer without yes. a Juris Doctorate well, degree. Yes. Well, the kid that had worked for me at a consultant place was doing that. I don't... I so I don't know if that where that is okay. or not, but there is a place where you can do what's basically called like an apprenticeship, and you can go and work with somebody and practice. You're not practicing law, but you're learning the practice of law from them for a period. I believe it's like seven years. Seven years, I think. Um, it used to be in some places. And then you can take the bar exam and become an attorney that way. Oh, Maryland is not one of those states. You must have a Juris Doctorate in Maryland in order to take the bar exam and practice law. Just because you have the degree doesn't mean that you're an attorney. You have to take the bar exam, pass the bar exam, go through um, a pretty comprehensive background and investigation to make sure that you are fit to practice law in that state. So I am barred to practice law in the state of Maryland and the District of Columbia, um, which is close, as some of you know, but I do most of my practice in the state of Maryland. Many types of law are not the same from state to state. So I, those of you that reach out to me and live in a different state and ask me for legal help, 
I'm not able to provide legal help or legal advice in most states because I'm not barred. I haven't taken their bar exam. I don't know their state law and many laws are state specific, meaning that the law is different in Maryland than it is in Virginia. If y'all reach out to me and ask me for legal help in another state, it's not that I don't want to help you. It's just that I'm not qualified to do that. And so I want to direct you. Even still, you still always help people direct them to what the next Yeah, are, I'm but. happy to help direct you to somebody in your state that would be the right person to help you out. I have some connections, you know, through social media, through legal Facebook groups, through um, listservs that are attorney listservs. Um, and I'd be happy to try to help you locate the right attorney that can help you. Nice. I hope that some of you have gotten to know me, sort of, in the virtual sense over the last year and know that I am still sort of fun, mm -hmm. even though I'm an attorney, because most people don't think attorneys are fun. Mm -hmm. um, you look at your desk, what's the funnest thing on your desk? What's your favorite item on your desk right at the moment? Favorite item? At the moment. Well, I really like yeah. this because my daughter made it for me. Oh. Which is nice. I this, well, we can't forget this cup. Okay, so this cup is like my two childhood best friends. One of them is both of them. I'm actually still pretty close to, but Brit's I, coming soon, isn't she? Brit just came. Oh, okay. Brittany is one of my childhood friends. She's an, a very talented artist. I used to swim with her when I was little. So we <laughs> all grew up together, yeah. all of us. Oh look, this is a mug, a biker mug. Nice, See? nice, 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 nice. Oh, I got a car wash. Mid Atlantic Car Wash Association. Well, that's sticker. coming up soon. Coming up soon. We're going to a conference soon. This is actually for my love of Harry Potter. So, those of y'all that don't know, it, I'm a book nerd. You can't really see it, but when you put hot drinks in here, it unveils itself. It's the uh -huh. Marauder's Map for those of you oh, yeah. Harry Potter fans. What else do I got here? I got. Um, oh. I'm a huge Friends fan. I know. The things that I just said seem like I'm really basic. I love Friends and I love Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love those things? But, you know, uh, at least I'm a lawyer that rides a motorcycle. That's not <laughs> so basic. You got that. All right. Hold on. Always a chair right here. keep a blazer in your office in case you get called into court at the last minute. And you guys just pull it over whatever you're wearing and you can make it look professional. <sighs> This is what it looks like sitting from Megan's desk. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? Women in car wash. Ooh. Which is cool. I've spoken at one of their It's very impressive of you, by the way, uh, that you've done. You. And I'm about to speak at another one of their conferences, so mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. All right, y'all. We'll catch you in a few. Oh. Well, I'm going to sit here and pretend to be Megan. <laughs> what? Actually, you do hear enough of my... I was going to say when you were talking about that earlier, I was literally like, well, you don't have to be. I mean, theoretically, if I have information and I know information and I go to court and represent myself, then I am kind well, of acting as an attorney is as... Basically, my <laughs> assistant in legal work, he could basically... I give you real life opinion situation right. type thing. Still working out the kinks with my mic. This is me talking about the fact that everyone thinks that because I'm a lawyer, I must have a lot of money. Some attorneys do really well, and I don't do too badly, but what people fail to factor in is the amount of student loans that I had to take out. Most folks who attend law school will have of $100,000 in student loan debt, unless they had somebody to pay for it. And yes, I know some of you will say, oh, well, you should have worked. So I did work, and I contributed absolutely every cent that I made while I was in law school, either as a paralegal or a contracts professional, to paying for my books, for my school supplies, to all of those things. And it could not even come close to the amount of money that it costs to go to law school. So I am, in fact, still paying my student loans. I'm not even close to paying off my student loans. I am on a five-year plan, and I'm 10 years in, and I owe about the same as I owed when I graduated, despite making exorbitant payments every single month for all of the years that I've been practicing because the ridiculous interest rates on student loans, which are insane. So for everybody that says that I'm rich because I'm a lawyer and I can buy anything that I want for my motorcycle,
this channel is self-funded. I really have two roles at my firm. I have a role as a litigator, a practicing attorney, but then I also have a role as a partner in the firm. So I manage staff. I manage. I do a lot of administrative and managerial types of tasks at the firm. I also do some of that as a car wash. Cameraman, for the most part, runs the operations of the car wash. He manages employees and schedules, but I still do all of our contracts. I do a lot of our invoicing. <laughs> you guys can probably see him next to me acting like a goof. Um, so it is, it's a lot, but being a moto vlogger is hands down my favorite job of all the jobs that I have. Well, that's not true. Being a mom is probably my favorite job. I love my kiddos. But after that, being a moto vlogger is my favorite job. And yes, I treat it as a job. I treat videos very seriously. I work really hard to improve on editing. It's important to me to be the best at this that I can. I just want you guys to know how much I truly appreciate you. So, one of the things that I think people don't know about being an attorney or a litigator that's pretty hard is how difficult the schedule is. So, a lot of women become an attorney and then when they have children, they stop litigating because it's very challenging to have to be on the court schedule because if the court says that you have a hearing then you better be there and you better be ready for that hearing if you have a deposition you've called a court reporter you can't call in that morning and say my kid is sick or i had car trouble judges and other attorneys do not have that expectation sort of you yourself being very ill very tight schedule on the days that I have court or depositions or mediation those things are very important and it's definitely a lot to balance I my favorite part of being an attorney though is going to court I am not the kind of attorney that likes to sit and review 100 page contracts. I like being involved in the action in the courtroom. So y'all, um, we are stopped at Chick-fil-A because this is what I have to do a lot of times during the day. Uh, sometimes I can pack a lunch. I can eat a lunch at my office, but if I have court, a lot of times that's not really possible because I don't really have a fridge that I can store it in. Um, so I eat out a lot, which, you know, a lot of you have asked me for more information on my diet and exercise regime. Did you hear cameraman? He said what diet? what diet? Because I don't diet. I know. Um, don't be mad though. Cause you see food, you eat it. That's <laughs> don't be mad though. Cause I exercise all the time. So the other like super annoying thing about riding and going to court is that I am a fashion gal and I like to wear jewelry. And so I have to take it on and off every time that I go. The other thing is, is obviously I can't ride in the pencil skirt that I was wearing. So I change into work pants that I can tuck into my boots. Um, I do prefer skirts and frankly, this probably sounds old school, but a lot of judges will actually tell you that they feel like it's appropriate for women lawyers to be in skirt suits and not pantsuits. Plus I'm just more of a skirt suit type of gal and I'm into fashion and I like skirts and I like girly stuff, which I know might be kind of weird with the biker side of me, but I am really girly. I like my nails done. I like all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I prefer a skirt suit, which means that I bring skirts. The other thing I do is obviously I can't ride in stilettos, so I got my boots on. Today I have my full face helmet and I have patent leather stilettos. So these are just some of the things 
that I do because it is like 78 degrees out today. It is absolutely beautiful and I wouldn't want to be riding in a car so I'm willing to sort of do some of the extras in order for me to ride to court. So y'all, one of the toughest parts of riding a motorcycle to court is that I don't have anywhere to change because I change in my car a lot. So in this case, I'm going to try to I mean, there's a bigger thing here. You're, you're trying to get changed in a parking lot Chick-fil-A. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> that's bigger. we don't have time. We got to go. We got you got it. We got, got to sacrifice, right? Yeah. All righty. All right, you're going to have to give me... One sec. Hold on. Got to loosen this up a little. All these people watching me like <laughs> I'm a crazy person. What do you think they're thinking? I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm crazy. Well, that's what they're thinking. Do you blame them? No, I know. And they're, we're all a little crazy, right? Yeah, but I'm special on here. Concurred. I'm oh, special. that was fun. Oh, I did it. I did it. Done. Done. Not much you can't handle, huh? I can change my skirt to pants in the parking lot. So, so you went from lawyer to Megan. Well, sort of biker, right? It's like a little bikerish. Yeah, I'd say so. So, I do wear expensive suits, try to sort of take care of them, not great care, but something. Also, I mentioned earlier, but it is a huge pain in the butt, it's jewelry. Yeah. Um, so, having to take my jewelry on and off. On the road, you do this daily. Joking. No one. I mean, in, in some ways, Michael, because, like, you always, since we were kids, whenever, if I thought there was a reason we couldn't do it, you were the kind of person that was always like, why? Why? Why can't we do it? I'm the, I'm the one that questioned everything, right? Well, you always told me whatever I wanted to do. It's, it is but, still true to this day, isn't it? Uh, but also gymnastics. Like, because I had gymnastics before school, I had gymnastics after school, so I was like used to having to take stuff with me everywhere I go. And I feel like that... That helps you be a, a traveler? Yeah, like, you know, sort of go with the flow. Yeah. For different things. Alright, so, <sighs> put this on. And get ready to do a little taping segment, hopefully. Hopefully, good audio again. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, that was badass that we got audio finally. <laughs> Finally, I worked so hard at that. Right. Are you going to be wearing that blazer? Yeah, when I ride, I'm going to wear it because I'm just going to pack it up. Different types of actions. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Different types of actions 
are filed in different courts. Um, so some actions like family court actions are filed in circuit court and other actions like minor traffic are filed in district court. Okay. What court do I go to a lot? <laughs> um, let's see. Family law stuff has been in circuit court. Uh -huh. But, you know, like when you get citations for being outside a bar, that's in district court. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Until they understand, I did not want to drink and drive. I, I'm just saying, that's why I had to pee outside. I didn't want to get in the car and drive home. It doesn't make any sense. So one of the most important rules about being a trial lawyer is that you are always nice to the court staff. The court staff, the people up front. Correct, because they work hard. The bailiffs, the court reporters, all of those people work hard. I do, but I respect their position in the court system, and it's always good to have a good relationship. So I'm fortunate in that I'm here so frequently that a lot of the court staff know you and I are familiar. Now, how many times, like, have you been coming here? Because I know your timing and stuff. Like, like, are you here and you're like flying up, like running? Because you got briefcase with you when you're in court, oh, court, sorry. right? Then you got I'm evidence. And... Here. So, cameraman has carried stuff in for me many times. Because if I have a long trial, yeah. then I have boxes of papers and evidence. And sometimes I have co-counsel here, but um, he's came and, and met me and carried stuff in for me on multiple occasions. So, um, this is the district court. As I was saying, some actions are brought here. Um, and behind us is circuit court. So, yeah, no, there's plenty of times that I've had to run in stilettos because, like I said, being timely in court is, is really important. very important. So, um, it's harder to do that on a bike, which is why I don't bring the bike to court as much as I would like to. But today was a beautiful day. I didn't actually have to be here for a court proceeding. Um, so, that's the main entrance, right? Up there. The circuit yeah. court, but and then what's the one on the other side? That's just another part of the circuit court. Cool, cool, cool. So, anyway, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm on this side. My fault. Hopefully, this is giving you a little bit better understanding about my typical days in attorney and that part of my life, which, like I said, sometimes intersects with my motor vlogger life, but not always. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about that part of my life, my legal career, and the practice of law. I am really excited for two events that we have coming up this Saturday at 1 o'clock. We'll be meeting in Ricerstown, Maryland at the Royal Farms that is right off of Route 140 at 795 where that ends and we'll be riding to a movie theater the hunt valley regal theaters to see florian's nights it's a movie actually a documentary film based on a bunch of the lives of firefighters who use riding as a way to combat ptsd so i'm really excited for that and then on the 10th of October, cameraman and I will be leading a ride out of the Skyline Drive area down a portion of the Blue Ridge Parkway in celebration of the one-year anniversary of our channel. We're super excited, and I hope that a lot of you guys will join us. That's a Sunday. I'll be providing more details about exactly where we'll be meeting and what time we'll be meeting in the coming videos, I'll be putting it in the about section of my YouTube channel, and I will also be providing that information on Instagram. I have a couple of very cool Patreon videos, so if you're interested in some behind-the-scenes footage, head over to Patreon, check out our Patreon channel, and subscribe to that. Until next time, guys, don't forget to ride safe, like, and subscribe.